Hello everyone. Um, today I'm gonna show you guys how to do clean feet on a standard poodle. Um, Noelle is not the best for grooming. I should have picked her sister, but Lily got her first. So we're gonna go ahead and um, do the clean feet on this one over here. So typically when you're doing the clean feet, you know, you can use your 10 uh, to reverse it. Um, or you can use a 40. If you're a brand new groomer, I do not recommend a 40 because you can cut the dog. And also, um, if you don't know what you're doing, you can scrape the dogs, um, you know, too much with the 40, too hard, and um, there's a chance for irritation. So I recommend a 10, and I recommend changing your blade constantly, okay? So, so let's to start, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do her paw pads. You don't have to start like that, but I always like to start the paw pads so I can see where I'm trimming. That way I'm not, when I go over it, I'm not spending time doing a, a bunch of stuff. And I'm sure you know how to do a paw pad by now. If you don't, pay attention. You don't need to dig in, but you need to kind of, uh, you know, basically what you're doing is scooping the hair. Can you get a better angle? And that way, there we go. So basically, you're scooping, okay? I know some people when they're doing their paw pads, they want to make sure it's like it's extremely bald. You do not have to make it extremely bald, but you do have to get majority of the hair out just so when the dog is walking around, he's not slipping. And I know there's a lot of pet parents who um, doesn't have, you know, the time or a chance to just kind of like pick at their dog's paws when, um, you know, after a walk. I recommend doing so because sometimes there are a lot of stuff that gets you know hidden in there so that's something you definitely want to look out for but this is all our, our, our paw pads right now i'm gonna go ahead and do the clean feet to start the clean feet sometime um we'll have some pet parents ask us to start here like right above the little you know knob back here um it's because their dog's feet gets really dirty and they go out in the mud but typically when you're doing clean feet it's right here, right above the uh, little ankle cap. Um, if it's a uh, you know big dog, if it's a small dog, of course their legs are smaller. You keep it about right here at feet length. I mean arms length. Ooh, my blade's making noise. Hold on. Okay. So basically, I'm gonna do it in reverse. You'll see. There's one feet that is always worse than um you know the rest of them all it's that back um the back right leg is always worse to do so do double check how i'm going on the end of the uh toes there like on the inside of the toes okay um so typically when you're doing a um a paw pads um a lot of people have a hard time going in here why are you drawing on me? A lot of people has a hard time going in there, so you definitely wanna go and be on the safe side with that, okay? So, back in the uh, corner. So, I wouldn't, don't go like this, okay? The blade is gonna like cut the dog if you do that. You can use the edge of your blade to get in there. What I do is, I put my thumb, this thumb, I put it under here, let me show you. I put my thumb under here, which brings the middle of the paw up right there, okay? So basically what it's doing, it's pushing it up. You don't have to do it too hard. Just push it up slightly and then just grab on the hair. See, and then same thing on the side with your hand here, tilt the, uh, tilt the finger a little bit and then dip okay that's it there's nothing to it it's very easy to do i know it can be nerve-wracking make sure you're checking those blades all right i know i just started with it but i i'm in the habit of checking the blade as i mentioned before i went to school with pet smart and they were very very crazy about us checking the blades because the last thing you want is for a pet parent to come back and say you give the dog razor burn okay same thing here, you're gonna go in here. I know sweetness.
Push it in. You getting that? Honey, stop drooling on me. Ah, 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 ah. There we go. And other one, same here. Check your blade. It's so good. Chip. Push the finger in there. All right, second one to the side right here. Check your blade. So right now I'm using my small um, finger, my pinky, to push that one in. So if you could see how I'm holding the dog here. Basically I'm using my middle finger, um, my two, uh, my thumb and my uh, uh, index finger, and then my little pinky is under and between the paw to bring the, 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 the feet closer to make it even so I'm not digging in the dog's paw, okay? So tip to the side, tip to the side. Again, you want to be careful with how you're doing this, okay? I know, sweetie. All right, here you got your clean feet. And if you feel like you, you are not comfortable, you, don't, you can't do it like that, I know, sweetie, you can always flip back. If you flip back here, then you're able to see the inside of the leg, okay? You're able to see it. Again, you can do it with a number uh, 40. Down here. You can do it with a number 40. I would just recommend a number 10 if you are a beginner, okay? And I, I think if you are a beginner, they tell you to do it with a, a 10 and not a 40 anyways. There we go. Clean feet. So here's her clean feet. We did it with a number 40, I mean number 10. Uh, we used the 40 to shave the, um, uh, the paw pads. And uh, all you have to do is trim the feet and you're good to go. Please like and subscribe, you guys. Thank so you. here she is with the clean feet. She gets a palm tail and she gets her top knot. Um, 